Hey everybody, uh, tuned into the Free Matt podcast. I'm the one and only Matt Free Matt, Ogadishu Matt, whatever you want to call me. I wanted to give you a polite heads up. Uh, Pat, uh, General Patrick Flynn does send his well wishes. Usually, the Free Matt podcast, uh, we had kind of a discussion. Now, uh, commentary with one with one person. One uh, kind of often irreverent little look at things, but sometimes we have some good videos. Um, my notes said, I think people kind of like my defending the undefendable. I wanted to bring up somebody who was completely detestable in the eyes of many people. This person has been accused of bullying at a younger age and current age. This person has been accused of being obtuse and blind because of their wealth. They're considered kind of uh, jaded because they're only around Hollywood people. And clearly their position as uh, a model at one time and somebody who I guess clearly doesn't know, doesn't remember how it was to be little people, you know, to be a small everyday person. The person I am speaking about is the one and only Chrissy Teigen. Um, She is also known as uh, John Legend's wife. A convenient punching bag of sorts. During during the lockdown, her and John Legend both had said some really kind of off-key things. I I, want to say they forgot what the lockdown was for many people and Forgot that everyday working people, the lockdown was no walk in the park, and not everybody had brownstones, you know, three million dollar condos, or a house in house in Phoenix out in the sticks that you know they could go and hide away to. And everybody sees these happy, you know, either extremely overly happy Hollywood Hollywood types. A lot of people don't like. Uh, we're kind of growing old of this, this, this stuff, the Holly weird stuff. Now you're asking, like, how do I defend her after I said this weird stuff? I think she's a product of bad environments. I think she's a product of people telling her that her shit doesn't stink. She's a product of being around a bunch of other goofy, famous people that are vapid and don't have any. They don't have any redeeming qualities because they don't think on their own. They're not independent. No sense of independent thought. And a lot of Hollywood people that are any independent thought are not... They're not the ones that stay in the news. Um, I think that... We, we, look, we look at people that they're trying to stay relevant in Hollywood... They, you know, I've been told somewhat reliably about the Hollywood people that it's more than money, but it's an environment, and it's almost like a subset of, of a fake family. And people are wanting to, I guess they march like everybody else, and they're they understand deep down that's what brought them there. But at the same time, there's like a a sign of of almost psychopathy within a lot of these people. And it just seems really off and and crazy. I don't even follow any of this Hollywood stuff, but for some reason, it'll poke through on a news feed, which I'm actually trying to find out about real news. I mean, I see people struggling to act like real people, and I honestly think there might be a glimmer of a real person within Chrissy Teigen. Um, it's hidden behind, uh, the fact that she let cameraman, uh, wouldn't wear underwear around people and she wore short skirts, um, you know, and then act like it never happened. Most people are embarrassed uh, that their junk's hanging out of their clothes. Um, they, you're, you're in the tabloids and people kind of celebrate being in the tabloids. You kind of say some at one time in your life you can which is understandable you say kind of 
obtuse things about people and then it comes back to bite you in the butt. I, I think people ought to remember that she's trying to operate in an environment where there's no clear boundaries anymore and people change the rules every other day. And yes, she's surviving, but she's not thriving. And that's where, you know, this pay dirt where if, if there was a glimmer of, of, of these people being human and not some type of fodder, like being treated like animals, is, you know, I start to look at things like that. And I'm not saying these people aren't going to, they're stuck in, in the system. It's, a, you know, it's Hotel California, but it's the acting world or the entertaining world. And some of these people, they, they hunger for a sense of community like normal, everyday po folks, you know, rednecks, uh, just regular trash do. And they're, they're plastic idols instead of being people. They're, they're glossed over looking faces and they're not, uh, they're canned responses. They're, you know, I, I'm, I'm, def I'm not defending the, the, the trash that comes out of Hollywood, but I'm, I'm saying you can name one person. I see maybe this person could be a human being instead of being a, uh, automaton or, or one of those, uh, puppet looking things. And this is something I, I start to say, I was like, you know, maybe this person could be human, and maybe she is. Uh, I'm hoping she's not, you know, joke about the lizard people, but we we, we kind of, uh, I secretly hope that a lot of those people are human. Uh, I don't believe in lizard people, but they become, um, I guess, a two-dimensional character. They're, they're somebody that we know of and we see them in the we see them in the talkie pictures you see them in commercials and and, and and hawking things but we don't see them as humans we see them as uh idols we see them as as, as uh you know real life statues almost and I, i'm secretly hoping maybe she she's a human being under the, the all of that and she's really a flawed human being with with you know cancer genes and lumps and you know it's not all hunky dory in these terrible painted on smiles that I see people do i think she's a, a, a i think she's a product of her environment and the environment is it's a metaphorical cesspool and i'm not saying she's you know mrs shit usa i'm saying that she's and she's at the losing end of this this conjuring of of just nastiness. And she has a capability of being a human, and I was I wish people knew that. Anyway, folks, um, uh, feel free to like, subscribe, hit the notifications. It'll work sometimes. Let me see. Twitter, Gab. Further down towards the crotch is Parlay, which is stink, which stinks anyway. Um, there should be a link to the website. Uh, feel free to check out a post. Uh, I have an email address down there for hate email. Send me a hate email. No, I don't. I don't care. Uh, also, leave a comment. But uh, I want you guys to be real people and do your best to find the humanity in others, even people that don't seem human, like Chrissy Teigen, and. Just be good people, man. Try your best. All right? Thank you for stopping by.